Oh man, family, this is beautiful. We're at the Casablanca world famous mosque. And inside is an architectural genius. That's our family, we're about to start the presentation and now uh, we're gonna get a nice introduction from our tour guide of boat of this beautiful, incredible mosque. Okay, come closer, please. It says close, so I can give you some explanations. Bomani, Makari. So we are at the mosque Hassan II. This this mosque is uh, was built by the former king Hassan II, which was the father of the current king. Therefore, the mosque is named after him. And this mosque is known as the third largest mosque in the world. Do you know where the first and the second largest in the world? Uh, Saudi, Saudi, in, in Saudi Arabia. S correct. Yes, in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> the first largest <laughs> one is uh, Mecca, which is in Saudi Arabia. The second largest is also in Saudi Arabia, which is in the Medina. This one, in terms of the size, is known as the third largest in the world. And this one, it has a capacity to host 25,000 people from inside in the hall here. And uh, 80,000 uh, 80, in the outside courtyard where we were walking outside, that fits 80,000. But the outside never gets full except during Ramadan, which is now. In Ramadan at night, we have an extended prayer called Salat Tarawih. It's a, it's a special prayer that we do only during Ramadan, the, through the holy month of Ramadan. At night, so all the people come to pray, that's the only time when it gets fully packed from inside and outside. 25,000 inside and 85 outside, sorry, 80,000 outside, which is 105, uh, 105,000 in total, inside and outside. Inside, you can see up there, uh, there is like a special area, this is for women which fits 5,000, 2,500 on each side. Because when we pray, we never mix, we separate. Either the men should be at the front and women at the back, or we separate them in a different section. So this is the women's section that you see here. And uh, the, the mosque, it started construction in 1987 until 1993. So they were building it uh, through six years in a row, day and night to be finally ready in 1993, which means the mosque is 30 years old now. And people uh, who contributed in building the mosque, there were over 1,000 construction workers and more than 10,500 artisans. There were people from Fez, Marrakesh, and different cities who contributed in the decoration of the place. And the mosque, the materials that it was used to build the mosque, they were mostly from Morocco, like the granite, the, uh, the cedar wood, and uh, the plaster, only two materials in the mosque that they are not native to Morocco. They were imported from uh, Europe. One of them is the chandeliers, the chandeliers that you see here. Which they were imported from Italy. This is glass from Morano. Long time ago, Morocco and Italy we used to have a trade. We used to, uh, we used to trade the uh, marble for sugar. So uh, marble. We also the marble we have here, some of it is imported from Italy, which we'll see later at the very front. It's white marble, that's Qatar marble. Long time ago we used to trade it for sugar. We used to trade it for the equivalent amount of sugar. I give you one kilo sugar, you give me one kilo marble. And it was unfair because we still have the marble, but we don't have the sugar anymore. And like I said, also the chandeliers, they are also imported from Italy, uh, from Morano. So these are the only two articles that are imported, and the rest, they are all Moroccan. And uh, the mosque, it's uh, very big. It has to, uh, uh, the ocean view from there. And the, whole the mosque is built, as like I said earlier, is built upon the water. If you look over there through the window, we are looking into the Atlantic Ocean. So 
the king he got inspired from the Quran when God said which means God's throne is built upon the water so the king he got inspired from that this is why he built the mosque on the coast on the water and since the mosque is built on, on the water it uh, there is a lot of humidity a lot of you know stuff from from the ocean coming from here so uh, uh, they need to use strong materials and if you look around you see all the gates here these are all made with titanium because it's the only metal that doesn't oxidize any other metal it wouldn't survive in such a location and what you see here there are many gates and there is one that's exclusive for the king this one behind you that you see it's a big one this one they never opened it except when the king comes here when the king comes to pray here that's the only time they open it exclusively for him that's why it's called the royal king, uh, the royal gate. While the rest they come in from the other door, like where we went, uh, we came in from. And uh, and uh, uh, now we will start walking around to explore more, and I will give you explanations as we walk on the carpet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. How many want to pray? When we want to pray? The whole place is covered. Is this amazing? Wow, you ever seen anything like this? Now they take it off just to show the beauty of the floor that we will see in the front. Let's go this way. Yeah, I've never seen anything like this in my life. Uh, uh, Diana, remember Ethiopia, La La Bella? You know, that was the closest thing I've seen to this kind of architecture. Uh, the Rock Cuban Church in Ethiopia. And then, um, then all the greatness in Egypt. What is that, like an underground? Yeah. What is that? I think it's mirror. Uh, Tarika, what is, uh, what's underneath? Oh, you can't, oh. Oh. Like, like underground he city. Built, he wanted to build this mosque in Casablanca to make it special for the city. Casablanca doesn't have many monuments like other cities, like Fez and Marrakesh. So he wanted to make something special for Casablanca. Uh, this is why he chose Casablanca to build uh, the mosque in. And this is the only mosque in Morocco that is open for visitors. That's the only one that you can visit in Morocco as non-Muslims. So this is a very special one. If you, as we walk, if you look around on the floor, you will see this. This is made to absorb uh, earthquake shakes. But the mosque is built like a few blocks and uh, they, are, they are flexible. They are made so if there is an earthquake, the mosque can, uh, uh, can, can, can stand still, cannot collapse. And here normally this area is carpeted because when we pray, it's cold, we normally carpet, uh, pray on a carpet. Now they take it off during the day to show, to allow people to admire the beauty of the, of the, of the floor. What kind of tile is this on the floor? Marble. Marble. Does a pattern mean, have a meaning to it? I'll tell you to have a quick question. Sorry? Does a pattern have a meaning to it? The have pattern, what? The is there, is there any meaning oh, no. to it? Is there a spiritual no. meaning, no, just, just a design? A, yeah, this is just oh, a design, okay. yes. Come mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. All right. Can, this is a... Uh, Ablution room, which we will see later, and uh, over there you see there are fountains. These fountains are where the water comes to, comes to, and uh, we do the ablution. We will visit this later. So this glass that you can see through it here, if you see on the side there are walls. Sometimes they uh, they they allow water to come in, so the water can cover the glass. When the water covers the glass. It feels like you are standing on the edge. There's a mosque built on the edge. And if you look up, you are looking into a, a retractable rooftop. This what is a very, is? this is a retractable rooftop. Wow. If you see in the middle, you can see the crack. You can see the joint. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, this is a very heavy rooftop. It weighs 1,100 tons. So if it falls down, we're dead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it takes uh, five minutes to open and three minutes to, to close. And this one, they open it, it only during special days, like the feast, and when the mosque gets full as a ventilation. Because the mosque doesn't have AC. If you look around, you will not find AC. And there are uh, no windows either. So the best source of uh, air is the rooftop. So they open it uh, when it gets full, and also during the special uh, days, like the feast. Oh. When they open it, 
and you can see the sky. And when the sky is uh, blue and clear, it feels like you are looking into a swimming pool on the top. And uh, if you, when you look up, this is all cedar wood. All the woodwork here is the cedar wood. And on the side, on the edges, you will see, you will read some writings there around. These writings, these are verses from the Quran, from the Holy Book of Quran. Yeah. Let's go this way. This way, guys, this way. Yes, right. Yeah, we call it the So question, is that the same Quran that, um, what's his name? Muhammad? Yeah. The Prophet, our Prophet? Yeah. Our Prophet is called Muhammad, yes. Yeah, we have only one book. Yeah, we don't have any other version. It's only one book. Farrakhan, that's what I want to say. What's that? Farrakhan. It's Fair. the same Quran that Farrakhan teaches out of. But what's Farrakhan? Oh, you don't know about Farrakhan? No. Farrakhan is a, is a high Muslim in, in America. He has many, mm -hmm. many followers. So all the Muslims, they have mm -hmm. only one book, the Quran, because there's only one holy book. Okay. And uh, if you look here, this is the, the women's section. Inside you can see there are escalators. So the women, they have electric uh, uh, stairs that they get them up. Yes, I know. Uh, Farrakhan group is called the Nation of, I of Islam. Yeah. Mm. Uh, you never I heard see. of them? <laughs> no. This is the yeah. group. Right, so family, this. So how do they get inside? Uh, you mentioned it, it's an escalator that goes up. The, the entrance is from, there, from, from the outside. There is a different entrance. They go underneath and then they go this way. So, Incredible, right? Yeah. Like, I'm even surprised. You can, you can look at the Atlantic Ocean from here. This is as close as you can get. They, uh, it's not allowed to go out because there are strong winds, so they don't allow people to go out. You can take a look at the the ships that you see there. These are all cargo ships because we have the port here. Right. So and there are a lot of cargo ships coming from the port. So they open it for visitors to admire its beauty. Yes. If you look around, if you look up, there is some uh, speaker system. Because when we pray, the, ma the imam stands at the front, over there. What you see in the middle, this is uh, what we call the uh, mihrab. The mihrab is where the imam stands. The imam is like the king. He is the, the leader of the prayer. So he stands at the front, in the middle, and then the people start to pray behind him. The prayer will fill one line first, and the second line, and one line after the other. And uh, when he, when he stands there, people who are at the back, they can't hear his voice. He has recited the Quran. So he's using a microphone. And the microphone, well, you can hear him through the speakers. So the mosque is entirely covered in speaker system. If you look up, can you find the speaker system around? Can you notice? It's inside here. Where? Inside. Where inside? In the, in, pillars. in the pillars inside there, where that opening is, maybe? No, not there. In the pillar, but not there. Okay, no, I can't find it. Or unless it's that little thing right there. Where? With the gold writing? The gold? No. How about the inlays? 
Yeah, I heard you said there. Every corner, there is a Well, they are well hidden. Yeah. But that gives the sound.